One of the coolest things I've learned how to do lately is etch metal. This is my logo and I etched that into a piece of steel and uh, this is a uh, neck plate for a base project that I'm working on. This is the uh, the bridge for that base project and uh, I made this out of a piece of angle iron. Very experimental this whole thing. It's a fun project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you all the things that I learned. All you need is a 12 volt transformer and salt water and some nail polish. That's what this red is. Okay, so first thing uh, I guess I have to explain is what this is. It's nail polish, just regular, uh, I don't know, regular nail, I don't know what regular nail polish is. Uh, I don't really buy a whole lot. This is the cheapest stuff they had in the store that I went to. I figured that would work. But anyways, what the nail polish is for is to protect the metal so it doesn't get etched. So anything that's going to be bare will get etched. I've used a lot of paint, a lot of different kinds of solvents and things through my guitar building experience and I gotta say nail polish is one of the harshest things I think I've had to deal with. The fumes are unbelievable. Okay my first coat. The nice thing is nail polish dries like super quick. Dry enough that I can put a heavier coat on now. It has to be thick enough so that when uh, the salt water and electricity touch it it's not going to go through and I noticed when I did my uh, first ones that any little like pinhole a, a light little area the uh, the salt water and electricity got through and actually etched like a little pinhole which is no big deal but I'm going to try to minimize that as much as I can all right I'm outside because uh, there are fumes that come off of this and I'm not sure how dangerous they are I would assume that they're not good to breathe it is etching steel so uh, I do it outside I was looking for some way to attach the wire to the bridge so I have a bolt Let's see here and it's making contact here so it has to make contact somewhere attach that to a copper wire and I have it just running in here and then it'll be covered with with water. I've got two liters of water here with the salt solution. It has to be non-iodized. So I used uh, pickling salt and it worked great. There we are. So I'll just pour the whole thing in. So that's two liters of water I poured in here and about a tablespoon of the uh, pickling salt. This power supply here ready to go and it should start bubbling right away. Actually I can see a little bit of action going on around the outside of the uh, the bridge. I can see something happening. Kind of a cloudy cloudy ring. See the uh, yellow back here. That's from the copper wire. One thing I noticed when I did this the last time was uh, the further away from the from the uh, copper wire uh, less etching happens so this time I try to make everything very symmetrical so if there is a difference it's going to be the same on both sides hopefully as long as it's consistent from side to side and I can also turn this around halfway too I'm gonna check it in a few minutes anyways I didn't really keep track of the time but I'm guessing it's probably probably around 10 minutes right now so what I'm going to do is uh, just unplug the transformer, cut off the power supply, just give it a look to see how it's doing here. Let's just see what we're at here. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's not, uh, it might be getting some etching, but it's really hard to see. But yeah, it does look like there's some etching going on. But we'll change that water. But it looks like the back part of the bridge there's more etching than the front part. I don't know, like I said, it's hard to really tell. Okay, so here we go with another two liters of water. With the salt solution. Okay, so we'll uh, just uh, plug in our, our power again. We've got some, some bubbling action going on. So uh, we'll leave it for uh, probably another 20 minutes. 
bubbling away still after a few hours. It's got to be etched by now to where I wanted it to be. This is the, uh, the fourth batch of water that's gone in here. I'm still out here with my etching. So I'm going to call her a day. I think it's been about four or five hours now. And uh, so we'll pull a plug. Wow. That's some, uh, that's some pretty intense stuff. What the heck? I haven't seen that yet. That's pretty incredible. I don't even know what to make of this. Nothing like that has shown up. I mean, I've been out here all day doing this. I don't know if this is temperature or what the fuck. That's some pretty interesting stuff. I can't wait to get that inside and clean that off and see what happened underneath there. Wow. Unexpected. So I've got this uh, sitting in um, nail polish room over overnight. And uh, it's a lot easier just to soak it than to try to, to rub it off with a rag or, oh yeah, that's perfect. It took a little bit longer for the etching to happen, but it worked pretty well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like that. I like the design I put on there. So there we go, it's all done. I took it uh out of the nail polish remover, cleaned off every little bit of nail polish, and uh, cleaned it up a little bit. I couldn't resist putting the parts on just to see what it would look like. Yeah, that's pretty much what it will look like. I'm going to keep it this uh, metal color. I'm going to shine it up a bit, put uh, some black paint in here, uh, like rub it in, just to help emphasize the, the etched parts, and then I'm going to clear coat it. I want that sort of natural look and that's pretty aggressive looking which uh, will go nicely on this base that's the base it's going in all right cool thanks for watching